Come on over, let's have a cup of tea. There's plenty for both you and me. Have a slice of cake and smell the sweet scent of flowers as we laugh and talk about our dreams. Hi everyone, I hope you're keeping well. I just wanted to say before we get into the DIY that this video is part of the Spring Decor and DIY Challenge hosted by the DIY Mummy. I will leave the link to her channel in the description box as well as a playlist with all the videos for you to check out. So you're going to want to start with a teapot and I got this from the thrift store so we're going to give this sort of like a thrift makeover we're going to make it a spring shabby chic decor piece for your home and then you want to take a foam brick and turn it over and then you want to kind of like stamp it so that you've got the imprint so that we have basically the measurement here and we can cut it and it's going to fit to size so then you're going to take your craft knife and then basically just cut around this circle and then once you've done that you're just going to squish it inside so that you've got the foam brick looking something like this then you want to take your lid and we're going to glue it to the front of our teapot you can do this with hot glue or e6000 now we're going to start decorating the lid and to do that i'm going to be taking some lace and i'm going to tie it on the little knob here and then we can glue it or you can just make a knot there. So I've just gone and made a knot. And then I'm going to measure it so that they are equal in length and just cut this side. Take some artificial plants. So I've got this little bit here. And I'm going to cut it around about there. And then we're going to stick some here on the top. And then some on the lace as well. Next you're going to take an old book, so I've got this from the charity shop or the thrift store and I am going to use this heart template just to draw a heart and then cut that out so that we've got this nice vintage font. Once you have your heart cut out, take a tea bag or some coffee and then we're just going to stain this a little bit more and then once you've done that just put it on the radiator to dry. And while we're waiting for that to dry, I'm going to take this butterfly and do the same thing. So I'm basically using it as a stencil, placing it on top of the paper and then taking my pencil, drawing along it and then cutting it out. So we're going to store this away for now and we will bring it back later when it's time to use it. So let me just go and check to see if our heart is all dried out so we can finish decorating the lid. So I'm back and the heart is all dried up. So next what you're going to do is make a small hole in the centre, just about here, and you can do this with some scissors. Be very careful. And then you're going to take some twine, and then you're going to slide that through the hole that you've made, so just like this. And I'm also taking this pearl bead, and I'm going to slide that through the twine as well. So I also just made a knot there. And once you've done that, just twirl your twine around like this. And then we're going to cut it to size and then bring back our teapot. And then you're going to just hot glue it to the side of the lid. So here is the lid all decorated. And now we can start moving on to this main piece here. You basically want lots of artificial flowers and artificial greenery, but by all means, feel free to use live ones. So I'm just taking my scissors here and I'm going to cut off quite a few of these into little bits like this. I've also got a few others and I'm going to do the exact same thing, cut off a few of these so I've got a nice mixture. And then just poke them into your foam brick. So just like this, what I'm doing is cutting and then placing them inside. So you can see now I've stuck in quite a few. I'm also going to use some green moss just to cover all of the little gaps so we don't want any of this foam brick showing. And now you want to start adding in your flowers. So I've got some of these artificial flowers and then you're just going to literally push them into your foam. I'm also going to be making use of this natural plant tie within the floral arrangement. Then once you're done with that you can then decorate with some baby's breath. So I'm just going to slide that into the foam. You can see how much that adds to it. It just makes it look more real as well and it breaks away from all of the artificial flowers. 
And then for the extra detail, you can add some of these pearls. So I'm probably going to add maybe three, and then we're going to stick that down with some hot glue. Then I'm taking this ribbon, which by the way, if you need to iron it, just use a hair straightener, it's much quicker. I'm also going to use this ribbon, and it was too thick, so all I did was cut it in half, so that it can look like this, and match the width of this ribbon. So I'm going to hot glue it on the handle here. We're almost done now, so then all you're going to do is stick this down with your glue stick onto some card so that it's more sturdy, and then we're going to cut that out. I'm going to just be curving the wings to make it look more natural. Then take your butterfly and hot glue it just here. And then lastly, I am going to make use of, again, a thrifted item, which is this pearl chain necklace. And I'm not going to open it up or glue it or anything. All I'm going to do is slide that through just here and place it on the side. And here's our finished teapot. Doesn't it look amazing? Who remembers how it looked before? I think it certainly is much happier looking like this rather than sitting sad and lonely on the thrift store shelf. I just find it so amazing when you take something old and bring it back to life. I really enjoy projects like this. If you have enjoyed this video, please do leave me a thumbs up and a comment. And if you like what you see, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much and I will catch you in the next video.